A very good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, you're here with Jonty of Lockin Marine International and this afternoon I'm aboard a Lockin 366 sports cruiser with a fly deck. Now Lockin Marine have been designing and manufacturing fast offshore cruising vessels for almost 50 years. That includes pilot boats, lifeboats, fishing boats and work boats. Now Sword was manufactured in 2002 to our requirements by Suta Marine of the Isle of Wight. She remained with us in 2002 for a number of years as a demonstration vessel, before being sold to her current owner in Ireland. He's an enthusiastic fisherman who's used sword for light fishing off the coast of Ireland. I'm going to take you now to the helm's position of sword, and you are on a 360 degree camera which will allow you to follow me everywhere. Now, the helm and the crew sit in comfort aboard sword on these wonderful suspension captain chairs that have excellent upholstery. The captain or the helm has a wonderful binnacle, really well laid out, a number of instruments directly in front of him. We've got a compass, rev counters for both port and starboard engine, along with oil pressure and temperature of the engine too. He's got all of his navigation equipment on the right of the binnacle. This includes electronic chart, he's got autopilot, GPS, and a VHF handheld. The captain's chair underneath is the main switchboard. You'll find all the main controls for the rest of the electronical items aboard Sword. Above the helm's seat you'll find a number of switch panels. Here they are all supplied with a small light which allows you to be indicated whether that facility is operational or not. You've got your main fuel tank gauges here in the centre of the main cabin, you've got fire controls for safety and of course a stereo for your music and radio. Then on the starboard side here we've got the main chair for the crew, again navigation facilities in electronic form and the paper charts and the chart table as well. There's ample stowage for paper charts aboard sword for the crew. Then I'll bring you back to the main saloon. Now the main saloon here is again very large, generous with at least three adults to be seated on the port side and on the starboard side there is a table, a U-shaped configuration settee that will create a second berth aboard sword. There's stowage underneath all seats that includes the ones on port and starboard side, plenty of room for all your belongings on board. Then the main berth is all the way at the front of the vessel. That's a double berth, very large and generous inside. There's light and ventilation from a hatch above and also an emergency exit if necessary. Slightly aft of there you'll find the main heads on the starboard side which is an electronic toilet as well as a shower. The port side has got the galley that includes an Electrolux fridge, a microwave, ample space for preparation and work surfaces and of course a sink as well. Now Sword is powered by two Caterpillar 350 brake horsepower shaft driven turbocharged engines and she is diesel. If you're looking for a fast offshore cruising vessel that's going to give you comfort and stability at sea then perhaps consider Sword. Contact us at Lockin Marine International for all inquiries. We can organise sea trials and viewings at your convenience. Thank you for joining me today aboard Sword. Have a wonderful day and we look forward to hearing from you soon.